Hello everybody and welcome back to day 3 of the 50,000 subscriber special. Right now we are looking over a beautiful little waterfall that has formed in our city and creating this nice little pathway under the bridge. I'm sure all the people driving by in the cars uh, also experiencing other floods going by are noting just the incredible beauty of such a small little waterfall. Of course they do look over and see that there's a gigantic flood happening, but uh, we're going to go away from this. Uh, that view that we had when we opened shows that we don't use all of the land that we've acquired and... Uh, particularly all of this is stuff that we own. We own this entire highway here, but we have never touched it. We've never done a single thing with it, and we've only kind of built in this one small area around this one interchange that has sort of been a combined work and failure at the same time. It's a little bit complex. I never really understand when this thing is about to work or about to fail. It seems to just pick when to do it whenever it really feels like it so uh sometimes we get a really productive intersection like that and sometimes we uh we just simply do not and i do think a lot of this might be caused from the fact that we don't actually have uh, a ramp going over like we probably should have designed it to be uh before we actually get into the meat and material of this video we should probably try and fix that uh before anything else gets uh, far too serious so i think the most logical and reasonable way to fix this actually is to just build a a uh, significantly larger ramp and uh, build one over so I know it's gonna look a little bit strange and bizarre when I, when I do it out but it probably might work so <laughs> just uh, just work with me here guys just work with me here all right you'll try to understand uh, there's, there's like a method to my madness so you'll, you'll figure it out all right guys so I've, uh, I've worked on this road con uh, design just a little bit and tried to uh, make it a little bit uh, better by increasing the size of the roundabout I figured you probably didn't want to watch that so I uh, I did a little bit off cam, I might do a little bit of fast forwarding work, but uh, if we get this into play here, we can see that we can hope that this increases traffic flow. Uh, for the most part, it looks like it's slightly working, uh, but you know, uh, some of these uh, intersections aren't like the most well done, in my own personal opinion. I mean, like this one, in particular, is a little bit crap. We can actually try to upgrade this like right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> There was some really interesting design decisions that had to be made in order to uh, get this whole thing to work. So uh, we're sort of left with some decisions that weren't really decisions at all. And we've also had to bulldoze a few roads too, but you know that's fine. That's fine. We have to bulldoze roads. Sometimes you do have to destroy to build something new. So I was very glad that I had to do that. Uh, honestly, I was uh, more concerned with just getting this uh, whole thing to actually work. So uh, that actually looks a little bit better too than it did before. So um, oh crap, I actually got to flip this baby around. Otherwise, it is not going to work. Um, come on. No, I need this, and then... There we go. All right, so now we actually do have an off-ramp, and we've also convinced a heck of a lot of people that they no longer need to actually use the road properly, which is fine. I mean, who needed to use the road properly anyway? I mean, it's not really not really beneficial to have useful useful use of roads, right? Uh, so, yeah, uh, hopefully that should help deal with that traffic problem, but while that is clearing itself up, we will get to work on building new and different and much more exciting parts of the city. Uh, so we have all of this over here, which is sort of like this humongous commercial residential zone, uh, kind of a kind of a big deal IMO. Uh, I've seen a lot of people go in and out of this area of the city. And so I think it's going to be nice if we include something over here besides just some kind of weird off random off-ramps. Uh, so particularly, I think we need to build something along this road right here, especially since it has this great freight connection that is already being utilized. Uh, by all these industries over here and which is making this so successful so uh, let's uh, let's work on putting something right over here so if we can what I want to do is I'm gonna put one of those four lane roads actually I'm gonna put quite a few of them because we're gonna ha well, want to have quite a few off ramps going through here uh, otherwise it'll get completely bogged down with uh, just a lot of different crap coming through so here we go we got one and we also want to make sure we get these at uh, some sort of an angle that we can I guess trust so here I'll uh, I'll page these down so we can get back to the ground. Actually, we need to go back to full steps here, otherwise this is freaking out my game. Um, so there we go. So now what we can do is we can use the curve tool and we can curve it around to kind of match this slope of the road or the highway, as I should say. And so now we can make a ton of on and off ramps without completely screwing up the way that this is supposed to be working. And we can also connect these back together too. So there we go. At least we got that going for us. And I'm gonna put another one right over here. So then we're going to use our page up tool, probably actually go back into the just uh, single mode there so we know when we're, we've reached the distance we want to go, and then back down, and to wherever this this shall go. Uh, over there, probably to some other thing, and now we just build the uh, simple on and off paths, which is probably uh, one of the most repetitive parts of what we do in City Skylines. 
but it's kind of fun. I mean, you gotta make you gotta make fun out of everything, right? I mean, that's why I'm doing vocal commentaries. Fifty thousand subscribers. Whew, exciting. It's a lot of subscribers. A lot of people. Uh, someone told me the other day that it is actually uh, more people than fit into the local baseball stadium. Yes, the Milwaukee Brewers. Fantastic. Um, so I guess we could uh, build our own baseball army if we so felt like it. Which would be interesting, considering I am not a humongous person in baseball right now. But, uh, you know, it'd be, it'd be interesting. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the design of this off ramp right now. This looks a little bit ridiculous. Uh, there we go. And let's... Try to make this set this back farther. There we go. Now we actually got this at like a decent ish angle. Eh, better. That's not like we need it to be super good to begin with. All right. We're not going for design appeal in this uh, city here. We're just going for functionality, pretty much. Uh, so we got that there. And then we have another one going this way. And there we go. We've got our uh, new on and off ramps to the new section of the city now. Let's make sure these are actually all going the right direction. It's supposed to be not turning. This is supposed to be. Not turning, and I think the other ones are fine because I, I kind of did that when I was designing them. All right, so now we've got this road all set up. So now we have to build out the road network for where we're going to put most of this stuff at. So we'll just run this straight down here, and then we'll do most of this, I believe, curved. We don't really have too much of a uh, curved infrastructure in this city, but I think that's going to be something that'd be really cool to implement. Uh, so there we go. We got more curved roads, and oh, that's one too far. And one here. Okay, and now look at that. And then it sort of like flattens out over here. We're not going to make it straight again, but we are going to curve it still. Sweet. And since these are all just 180 degree connections across the road, they should be pretty easy to hook up. There they go. There they go. Delightful. Now we have some fantastic new areas to put all of our brand new buildings and infrastructure that we were planning on building, which is good. Uh, where should I put this? I'll put this over here, and we can connect this down there, then through here. So yeah, we can fill in all of this with buildings, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much just all of that. So then we can get some more, as I should say, straight roads off of here, and connect them through. And then basically we can fill in all of the little gaps of, you know, where the city might leave holes. So uh, we've got that going for us, too. And I think I might actually need a little bit of a curve here just to make this work. There we go. You know, you always just want to have buildings up to, like, every last area that you possibly can. Uh, just so, like, the whole thing looks complete for the most part. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm always kind of missing an area out here that I never quite get to. But, you know, you want to do your best and try to uh, fill that in with other building areas. It's like that. It's like that. And then we can kind of fill that in. And the same thing applies for over here. We kind of just do that and then just fill it in. And except you kind of want to make it a little bit more uh, straight than that. But you won't really notice in the final product of how it looks. You'll pretty much only realize uh, beforehand when the road is still kind of barren. And then we can kind of make this over here and then, whoo, crap, like that. Okay, so now let's uh, implement some water systems in here. Make sure that we're actually doing all right. Yep, we appear to be at capacity. Uh, our electricity production seems to be good as well. We're still uh, fumbling around. Our incinerator capacity is still good for the most part, and our traffic issue, as I uh, hoped, had actually cleared up. So apparently that uh, small little interchange change uh, really changed the change in traffic. Yes, now I'm trying to use a world record to find the amount of times I can use the word change in a sentence. No, I'm not going to uh, delight with that. Not going to delight myself with that. Instead, I'm going to build a, a, an epic water system as I talk about my 50,000 subscriber special. So, yep, yeah, we are currently uh, part of the way through the week. Yeah, we're on day three. So, actually, when I first started recording this, I might actually show this after the video ends. But I introduced it by saying, welcome back to day two. And I was like, oh, crap, we got to restart that right now. Because uh, I already messed up. And I hadn't even meant to at that point, which is uh, fantastic. Because sometimes, I, guess, I usually don't mean to mess up when I record stuff. But I, I usually end up doing it. On the day one video, because I, I, you know, did do some continuity while recording these. In the day one video, uh, I actually, like, messed up with the, uh, like, the, the mic stuff. Because there was a pop filter in front of the screen. So if you watch the first part of the 50,000 subscriber special, you'll see that pop filter is there in the corner of the screen. It kind of looks like a, like, part of the green screen stand, but no. And, uh, 
and then like I move it out halfway through the video when I actually realized that it had pretty much been in the shot that entire time. So uh, yeah, you can see that I, I usually have some like epic flaws in my videos, but I don't really try. I just, uh, well, I don't, I don't try to make the flaws. I do try to make the videos. I really do try. There we go. Then we got a bunch of uh, new office buildings moving in down here. I don't see if they're going to need anything. Yeah, they're going to need like police station and stuff. They're going to need all the good stuff. The works pretty much. Hmm, the works. Okay, and then, do they need a hospital? I don't know if they need a hospital. They get a moratorium, though. That is something I will give them. And probably, like, a good old plaza or two. Just, you know, clear it all up and tell them that I really do appreciate their effort at being a business. There we go. And we can build one over here, too. Just to get the land value really incredibly high. And now our demand for residential is going back up again, so we can build some small new residential lots, maybe like over here per se. I uh, yeah, just want to make sure I angle my screen right so that I don't screw this up and end up zoning half the city on accident. Looking fantastic. We're getting some real growth in here. Uh, we have almost $3.2 million. We're, I think we're capital city, right? No, we're about to reach colossal city, metropolis. And, whoa, man, we have a lot of stuff in store for us in the future. We're uh, we're really getting up there, but we are a capital city right now. There we go. Uh, lots of new stuff moving in. We could probably get even some more uh, just commercial through here, uh, just in this little zone here. People really do love their high-density commercial zones. They're, like, really addicted to them. And I like to, uh, I don't like to build all my zones in just one spot at once. I like to, you know, combine them together so that there isn't too much traffic. Because as long as you build all of your buildings right next to each other, you don't usually see all that much, like, uh, people going other places that they, you know, wouldn't otherwise need to go to, because they'll generally just tend to stay in their, uh, their areas. I feel like we should connect these interstates together over here, but I have a feeling messing with this intersection. Wow, that is, that is like the worst trumpet intersection. That's not even a trumpet intersection. I can build better intersections than that, guys, all right? Don't think that's, that's how good I am at building intersections. Well, of course, I'm actually starving these people of water over here, but, uh there, fix that now. Is this zoned? This area isn't zoned. Why is this area zoned? I swear we had zoned this area prior. Huh, weird. Alright, well, I'll put some residential in there, just so we can get some people living in this little area. Fantastic. And then the people are moving in here. This is looking good. How are we doing on parks? They're a little bit crap, so we'll, uh, we'll put down another one of these so we can get that running fine. This is also, like, really terrible land value over here, but if we do this, we pretty much destroy, like, half the businesses that are already over here anyhow, so there we go. I guess we can upgrade that. Now look at the line of cars coming in from this freight area. Wow, that is amazing. All right, let's see if we can actually get a freight station over here, too, to try and, uh, you know, get easier access to these so they don't have to, like, come over all the time. Uh, also, that we can kind of space out our freight transport, too, which is going to be nice. Uh, yep, yeah, we can. We can build uh, our freight system right off of here as long as it's hooked up to the road still. And then we can just uh, hook it right up to the rail system. So just like that, pretty much. And that's good. So now we have freight connections in multiple areas, which is good because now we can get goods everywhere. Do we have a third freight connection? Yep, we have tons of freight connections all over the place, which is really good uh, for trying to uh, get goods in and out of the city without having a ton of industrial zones. And it really uh, gives us some great demand for commercial. Creates a lot of jobs, too. It's fantastic. Okay, and there we go. Getting a lot of this stuff. Speaking of jobs, I took a mac AP macroeconomics exam the other day. I took my microeconomics today. That was a little bit more rough than the other ones, but... Uh, yeah, macroeconomics is actually a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, if you, uh, I guess, know what you're doing. But, I mean, all the graphs, it, it makes sense. It makes sense of the economy. And it really uh, puts in perspective of your mind what's actually happening, because... You can't just believe every odd word that somebody says. You need to, like, get out some graphs, you know. Whenever whenever someone says something about the economy, you can't just say, oh, well, I don't know about that. No, you got to get a piece of paper out. you got to get a pencil, a ruler, and you'll be like, all right, got to move my aggregate demand, got to move my aggregate supply, all right, got to find my uh, marginal uh, ben uh, social benefit, marginal private costs, got to, you know, figure this all out on graphs and paper. But, uh, you know, a lot of people don't want to go to that extent. I mean, come on, that takes way too much work. <clears throat> Who wants to actually put work into things these days? Anyway, uh, our new system that we're building is going rather well, I believe. Uh, still trying to work out how to Americanize this a little bit more. I know my main goal probably shouldn't be to uh, immediately try to implement American values on things. And you can see how that has not successfully worked out through the entirety of American history. 
Uh, however, I think that we're doing a good job at what we're being given, and I am not sure that we could be doing any better with it. Except now that another traffic jam is formed. Darn it. Come on. It's like, I figure out the traffic jam one minute, and then the next minute there's another traffic jam. I really, I really can't do anything to stop these traffic jams at, any, at this point, can I? I mean, I kind of just got a lot of them work out on their own. I'm sure they'll figure it out. I hope they'll figure it out. I have no idea if they will or not. Why does this not have water? Who built this? Weird. It doesn't look like something I would build. Okay. Uh, incinerator capacity? Yeah, no longer have that capacity. So we gotta build a new incinerator in Incinerator Town over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just build one right there. That gives us some power output as well as giving us some very delightful uh, garbage reduction. Sweet. There we go. We're having some power shortages. Is this rainstorm? This rainstorm is really clogging up a lot of our solar collectors. Wow. Uh, really clogging up everything, pretty much. Wow. Holy crap. This freeway is just awful. I'm. Why is everyone trying to get off of this freeway right here, like, the second? Like, they weren't, and now they are. And it doesn't make any sense why. They just suddenly decided that they needed to get off the intersection at that one point. Oh, man, look at these beautiful green towers here. The Fairview residents, as long as the Grove residences, just look out over here, and they're like, wow, look at that mess of traffic that he's created. Why would he build such a terrible system? Well, my friend, I will answer your question by saying... Hey, it actually works, okay? You can drive to point A to point B without dying of malaria on your way to work. So yeah, uh, that's that. I mean, why would there be a malaria crisis, you might ask? Don't know. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what else we're going to be building. I think we could actually build out here right now. Uh, if we just uh, do this right out here. And then we can... Oh, we can hook this up to the uh, the quay. Yeah, it's been a long time since I mentioned the quay. Um... But yeah, it's it's still in existence. The quay is still still there. Oh crap! Wow, I just missed that <laughs> that connection. Yeah, I was like working, and then suddenly I just completely failed to uh, finish clicking that. So there we go. Uh, we got that hooked up. Actually, that looks terrible. I could have done that a million times better. Oh, uh, what? Oh, that needs to work because I need to bring this out further first, and then and then run that to connect so it keeps curving. Yeah, we got to keep the curve going. There we go. Yes. Yes, curves, cost curves, marginal cost, marginal revenue. Nah, I guess anybody who's taking economics is going to be nerding out right now at this point as they wonder, like, why is he talking about economics? But uh, I am I am not really that concerned about myself. And uh, we extend these out, and we pretty much can hook up this to the other part of our uh, systems. Beautiful. See, we literally just took that up, and it should all work. And we'll set that up too, so we can uh, not leave too much room in between. And look at that, we've also expanded out the size of our city, and it actually looks a lot more complete now that we've done that. Now let's see if I can bring out the quay. Uh, how do I do that? I actually don't remember. Does quay anarchy still work? I don't even remember if it still works. It's been a long time since I've used this mod. Okay, um, so can we quay? We can quay. It sounds like a very strange verb to be using, but... Um, I guess that's how that verb works. Okay, and there we go. I think we figured it out. Beautiful. Okay, and I'll just uh, leave it over here to kind of connect it back up with the main ground of, of how things are. There we go. Beautiful. I think that is uh, that's very beautiful indeed. And I think the quay is actually, like, taller than the road is. So I guess anyone driving down this road is going to be like, why did they build a giant wall next to this? Uh, that seemed like a terrible idea. Well, it's more of a sea wall in case this... Oh, yeah, that doesn't exist. Never mind. Is that is that actually producing power? Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. Um, I love how we just had to go check up on the giant uh, secret that we've been whispering about for the last few episodes to see if it was actually working or not. Maybe that's what was causing the uh, terrible power outages during that rainstorm. Possibly. Possibly not. Okay, let's uh, get some residential in here. We, we need to really fill up a lot of this area with residential. Oh, because this is going to be some really legit traffic. We can't put too much office zone over here, or this is going to get clogged up. See, like this? This is what happens when you put office zones in. Or not office, sorry, commercial zones in. It just goes crazy, like, instantly. So we're going to fill this up with some jobs. And we get that there. And, we, yeah, we need to figure out some new uh, places to put some commercial, because we're having a commercial disaster over here. 
Maybe we should actually look about upgrading the old part of town. I know it's beautiful and old and stuff, but it isn't really going to be that beneficial for our future. I mean, we can only fit, what, like five households per, per like unit area, and here we can fit, like, a lot more, I guess is what I'm trying to say, like 24 or 18 households. So, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to dezone this area here. Okay, and we're going to actually turn on some of this into commercial because we do need a lot more uh, high-density commercial. So we'll zone that as commercial, but we'll make the rest of this back into high-density residential. And so we're sort of beginning to upgrade uh, some of the old stuff that we have in town. So like this gets to be turned up to high-density. This can also, this little area here, I'll turn into high-density commercial. So I won't try to overdo how much commercial we're putting in, commercial we're putting in, but I will try to uh, upgrade it. All right, so now we have that part of the city rebuilding itself. I still have this uh, very archaic electrical system running through the city. Like, why do I even have that? I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, like, these three power lines serve no purpose whatsoever other than the fact that they're just there from the past. So there we go. Uh, I guess that's fixed now. And these also serve no purpose. So there we go. We're actually cleaning up the land now. And now that we have that, I can actually connect these together without creating, like, ridiculous traffic issues and, like, cutting off my power lines. So... There, we can finally connect these together. I don't remember why I was... I think it was just the power lines that I couldn't get past before, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right, that one just won't run through next to the power lines, so... Yep, and I guess every little space that we have open, I'll just fill up with some more residential. Yes, look at all of our new zones go in. Oh, I just realized that was not actually planned out for water here yet. Uh, ooh, this is running on the other way system. There we go. And it's looking beautiful. Yeah, beautiful indeed. I'm liking that. It's uh, looking good. We've got our population up to about 45,000. Uh, and I think this is a great uh, part uh, three to the 25,000. What did I just say? The 25,000 subscriber special? Why did I just cut my subscriber count in half? Did I even do a 25,000 subscriber special? As far as I remember, I did a 20,000 subscriber special. I did like a 15,000 subscriber special. Did I do a 10? I did a 5, I think. I know I did like a 1,000. I tried doing a 50. <laughs> I tried doing a 50, but I never uploaded part 2. But uh, yeah, I tried. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the third part of the 50,000 subscriber special. If you're enjoying how this city is being constructed, please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow. Or next time.